Um, we've got four O's that we dry with. Uh, our process is called Aroma Smart. We use all uh, ambient outside air and dehumidification so we don't have uh, any added heat to this process. This is what sets Bill's operation apart and, and Gorse Valley apart from basically everybody else in the hop industry. It gives you a good idea how it works. Um, we've got this industrial netting in here that we pull in and crank out the load actually with like a load handler theory. Um, literally put a wrench on it and turn it out and when we're emptying it, it goes onto this belt and heads down to our conditioning tank for baling. You guys can come on up about 5,000 pounds, maybe 5,500 pounds of wet hops inside of this, 12 by 24 oust, and uh, that represents a day's pick. This is one of our first meeting places. That's right. I'd say we were on that one, I think, but yeah. Yeah. These guys come up, uh, you had a van and a trailer and empty barrels. And, yeah, it was a good time. I didn't get a lot of work done that day. No doubt. I think we drank <laughs> a few beers, though. <laughs> yes, we did. I guess one other interesting fact that uh, because of the amount of air we're moving in here, you actually have a, something that occurs called heat of compression. And every time the air passes over a fan blade, it picks up friction and starts to build heat. So. Uh, you know, at 2 a.m. we might be 60 degrees outside. These things are coming down to 8 or 10 percent moisture, and we'll see temperatures up around 96, 98 degrees inside of the vessel yet. You got a little hop in your beard. It's part of my fashion. 